We headed to Weedawi Marine. Weedawi. Some people call it Weedawi. Some people call it Weedawi. I call it Weedawi because that's what it's called. I'm going to hop in a boat that's got forward facing sonar and we're going to show y'all exactly how powerful forward facing sonar is. Also, if y'all didn't know, my whole family's from Weedawi. That's where my family's originally Quit from. Quit bragging. No, I'm joking. There ain't nothing in Weedawi. That's why they left. Nothing we'd have but a, a good boat dealership, and that's it. And a lake that's got big ones. And we're going, are we going to forward facing sonar up some big ones or some little ones? Probably some little ones. Probably some spotted bass. If we catch a three pounder, that'd be a big one. A real big one. Catch a lot of pound and a half, though. So. Pound and a quarter, pound and a half, a bunch of them. Then why don't we go do something that catches big ones? Because <clears throat> I like forward facing sonar in them up. So why does forward facing sonar in them up make them small? Because it, Why aren't big ones out there? Because spots cannot win on this lake. So, I mean, if it was a spotted bass tournament only, four face sonar would be would dominate. But so why do spots get out there, but large mouth? Large mouth like living on the bank. Some large mouth will get out there. Some will. You can catch some, but it's rare. So it's just in their genes to want to be on the bank. Yep. Or want to be out deep. Want to be want to be like close to some cover. What do you think? This boat's almost as good as the Bandit? Yeah. Almost. All right, what's going on? We're out here on small little local lake over here. Got my buddy from We Dive Marine. We got kind of a couple things going right now. We got the shad that are moving back up in these ditches, going to the backs of these pockets, and the water's falling. So it's really concentrating where these fish are. And there's usually going to be a train wreck happen at some time this time of year where you just hit them perfect and you can catch 60 70 fish a day and it's hard to catch that many fish a day but this is the time of year when you can do it because you've got just a lot of things working in your favor so these fish are pushing to the last little bit of deep water in the back of these these major places that have them and hopefully we can get out there and live scope a couple of them up because it's a fun way to catch them i know a lot of people are against live scope but if you got it you got to use it so it's fun and hopefully we're about to catch some today I got a catfish. I can tell by the way he was chasing it, it was a catfish, and then the way he bit it. Catch him on this thing a lot. Well, he is white. He's pretty, ain't he? He's actually kind of pretty for a catfish. Look at that thing. Like, I, you don't yeah. catch pretty catfish very often. You do down here. Yeah, it is clear water. Just a healthy fishery. Look at that. Look at that, that's a good little fillet right there. You want to eat him? Not for me. I almost said he was a catfish whenever I was putting it in front of his face. Just the way he was reacting to it. Got one? Yep. There we go, that's a spot of bass. Or maybe a large one. Little, little one? You know, when they're down there so deep. Yeah, they don't fight each other. They get up and they start feeling heavier. Oh! Six pounder, I seen it. Six and a half. Yep. All right, let me know. All right, bye. Front. Front end. Front end. That's a large mouth out there, D. Is he over? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Look This video is going to be how many different species of bass or Every time fish. we do this, we catch yeah. water, don't we? Remember when we was out there in Texas yeah. doing this? We caught everything in the yeah. lake and about 40 bass. Well, let's get 40 oh, bass that was fish. fun that day. Hey, Birmingham, I wouldn't give them a fruit, do you? Good one? It is a bass. That day last year we sat right there, just a few feet off the bank, and we had a double. 
for one hour and 15 minutes. Then we got us one. Oh, hit me in the head with my cheek head. Hit me in the hand. Filming live us on the Look at that. Won't take pictures of one that big? 13 inch? Mm -hmm. You can take a picture of a live well full of 20. Yeah. Yeah, you. They're right there. Trust me on They're moving. They're going out to work. Came off. Came off. Look at the weird spots on that tunnel. Hmm. Let me see them. It's all those different spots on the tunnel. Oh, what is that? Mm. Did they come off? Mm -mm. It's built into it. Built in. They're all there somewhere. How about that, Hunter? You like that? Mm -hmm. You found them? We, if we could stay on them, hard to stay on them. A little spotted bass, 13 incher. He might be 14, but I mean, he ain't. Well, you know, one pounder, but that's what we came here to do. Got it. They're right there off that little bluff point. Dude, they go so fast. Got to get back quick, though. They don't need it on the fall. Let's get them all coming. Bait. Yeah. Let me get a cast in there. I got a good one. Got one? Yeah. We have locum jaded them. Look at them, brand new, 2023s. This is where I got my boat. I got another one coming next week. So if y'all are looking for a Camus, they got some ready right now. Just hook up to them and pull off. Thank you.